Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. This is Tayman2037 back with Mr. Rokosh. Hello, folks. He's been doing some guest commentating on Banjo Tooie, and Banjo Kazooie is a very similar game. <laughs> so. <laughs> some might say it might have been a prequel. It is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more accurate to say Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Tooie is a sequel to it, but. I guess, yeah. So, we don't have a ton of time tonight, so we're just going to do one quick world here. We're gonna go tackle Treasure Trove Cove. Ooh. And Mr. Okash, he watched me play a bunch of Banjo Tooie before, but not much Banjo Kazooie. So I will be more of yeah. uh, just a spectator on this but, one. Yeah, I'll do some co color stuff, but. We have a note door here. We need 50 notes to get through it, but I got all 100 from the last world. <laughs> so that would be no oh, problem. Yeah, I'll be getting all 100 notes from all worlds. But this isn't as much of a speedrun, because I don't know the game as well. Well, it seems like these worlds are much shorter, aren't they? Yeah, that's odd. I've just never really gone for it, you know? Mm -hmm. It's weird. Maybe it's just more competitive in this one. Looks like Grunchy still has yeah. her face of flesh. That's interesting. Yeah, she doesn't have flesh in the second game. <laughs> All right. You have the option to remove pieces from the puzzle, but I have no idea why you would do that. You can remove the pieces? Well, I mean, before you're done with it. Oh. If you haven't completed it, you can... Oh, maybe if you want to go to a different level. Yeah, but if you're if you're good at this game at all, you should have enough more than enough pieces. I suppose so. Yeah, so... Ooh, creepy face door. On our way to... This is where Treasure Trove Cove is. Is this another water level? Kind of, but it's not that bad. Oh, okay, that's good. It's mainly above water. Oh! I, I, I love that kind of stuff. It's a beach world. Very oh, catchy music. Sometimes listen to it from the soundtrack that I have in my car. <laughs> we gotta go with this one Jinjo and not get hit by the shark guy. And we did not get hit by the shark guy. Good stuff! That is never a good thing. Oh, look, they got the crabs oh. do walk sideways. Correct game. <laughs> okay. Accurate portrayal there. So in this game, oh, so it's single notes. Single notes. That seems kind of tedious. Most of them are closer together though. That's good. That's like you can swim into the ship through there. You gotta get that guy's gold back. If oh. you recall, he was in the. That's the one guy with the burping voice that gave you the speed shoes and Jolly Rogers Agoon. And Banjo Tooie. There's this gold down here. Oh, wow. He just shipwrecked and he died. Well, that's a lot of gold. Yeah. And he's a hippo, you think he could swim, but probably can't fit through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Problem being a hippo, you're slightly larger. You're, you're fat. He's crying. Well, he's Actually. blubbering. <laughs> I'm a red feather! <laughs> but she knows how, and we're gonna learn how right now. Oh, so, the little mole dude, he's, this guy is your... Yeah, but he um, dies in the second game. Oh, wait, wow. Wait, but you bring him back to life. Oh, that's so good that's stuff. stuff. No, no tears should be shed. Yeah. In this game, you only get 50 feathers, and then Banjo 2, they're like, why not make it 100? <laughs> Might as well. And I nice, just... nice number. Oh, what do those skulls do? Oh, you use them to transform once you get enough. Oh, good stuff. So... <sighs> Swimming underwater, I've never liked doing that. Well, so you could, well, at least there's a way to be delicate in this game. I guess, yeah. So we're just gonna do our slow A stroke. And then our X stroke to be faster. Of course, Magic 2 this an A plus X stroke, which is faster. Oh, didn't know that. Is he still crying, or is he better off now? Oh, see, now you're happy. God. <laughs> That's the first tree. Apparently, Kazooie just likes to ingest them. That's how she holds them. Oh. <laughs> I guess you do what you gotta do. Dang it. Pretty elegant backflip jumps right there. 
very nice to watch. Oh, jeez! <laughs> what? All those things that light up? Oh, yeah! Yeah, because now we can use these spring nice. step things. Slightly shocking. Hmm. Only two moves in this world. Um, so basically, is uh, those skulls are kind of like Wombo's Wigwam in the other game? Yeah, they're like the Globos. Of... Oh. Okay, and we're just gonna go back over here now. What's that? Oh, I, I didn't see what the name of the ship was. I don't think it matters though. You only have 33? I could have sworn you had more than that. Nice jump. There we go. And then Grunty gets mad at the treasure chest, which is sentient. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> right. And she says the game will be harder. Which I guess technically that's true because we're moving forward in the game. And generally the game gets harder as you move forward. <laughs> generally, most of the time. And I was kind of going around doing whatever here. Oh gee, big hermit crab over there. I guess we'll go fight him. Oh, what? what? I don't want to push you into something you don't want to do, but... I guess it's kind of a boss, but not really. You guess you peck its eyes out? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, always going for the eyes. At least there's no blood, like, just spewing from them. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. What is it? Oh, your timing is just off. What's going on here? There you yeah. go. Do we hit the charm? Yeah. Like in all guy games, pretty much. This infiltrating the hermit crab's house. So now is the hermit crab chilling in here, or what the? How did? How does that work? What? How does <laughs> they live in? The hermit crab like disappears, just, but it's not in here anymore. They must have just moved in. Yeah, and then those crabs fell apart like robots. That was weird. Well, I pounded them apart. Yeah, well, I didn't know you were so forceful. <laughs> I used a, I'd use, a, like, a, a ground pound. Like in Mario. Yeah, there we go. Very important move. Oh, so that, that's a honeycomb upgrade, right? Yep. I wasn't going for these in Banjo 2 -y. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> There's our audio test right there. Yeah. <laughs> So good to get one of those every video. It's always a good thing. Sinking audio is important. Yeah. That's a bunch of teeth encrusted treasure chests. There are. This thing's actually a pretty like a pretty small level, isn't it? It is. I mean I think I beat this like in 14 minutes once. Wow. So I'm just so used to Banjo Tooie's <laughs> hour long yeah, levels. Pretty much. Although I think this one level they'll get that far. There's a, our net, uh, other honeycomb over there. We're just gonna we're supposed to spring jump up here. We're just gonna fly up here. Makes sense. Well, I mean, you're already flying, so might as well. Yeah. Is it is it a pain? Like, have you ever gotten to 99 notes and then you have no idea where the last one is? Uh, generally no. Generally no. I think well, that, that is very handy. There have been like a group of four notes I just was not able to find. The lone guardian crab did not fulfill its purpose. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm just supposed to. I was supposed to come here back here anyway on a different mission, but so that was a bit of a waste of a time. But uh, here oh, the smacker! Guy. No, he really didn't get. Oh, we're oh, he's gonna wait. Whoa! And he just disappears. <laughs> its cloaking ability. And he comes back. 